Welcome back to Jewel Sports Cards. Let me grab your attention in the first three seconds with an interesting question. Do you want a product with a low entry point in terms of cost and a high ceiling in terms of ROI? Well, then look no further than a hobby box of 2022 Panini Prism Draft Picks Basketball because you get four packs per box, 10 cards per pack, and each pack will have one autograph. Now, real talk. The autos are actually going to be the most disappointing part of this product because the checklist is so high on that. The base set is only 100. That's super low. But the autos, although you can pull the cover boy, Paolo, and all the other great rookies that were in the NBA this last year, you also can pull people that were in college in March Madness with the letter of intent cards that are within this. But the real sauce is that there's not only one case hit, there's not two, there's three. You got Color Blasts, you got Stained Glass, you got Manga. Now all these are college unis, but you have the ability to pull numbered cards. Um, they have actually a variation on the base that's horizontal, not just vertical. Those have a little extra sauce. You can pull the Venom, which is a short print, short, short print, uh, non-numbered, kind of looks like a snakeskin. And all of this other stuff that is awesome. So I'm super excited to rip this product. You should highly consider it. Because it is going to give you so much fun. Um, yes, it's college. But it has all of the team names on it. So unlike Bowman. When maybe before they got the Chrome edition. You have to like look it all up. You actually will be able to track this pretty easily. It's a hobby box. Which is always a good time to be able to open and it's actually gonna be a relatively quick rip because it's only four packs now they got all jumbled in here let's hope the corners stayed crisp paolo kind of a fun little spot there um we'll put that off to the side we'll have the packs kind of snuggle up right there and we'll get after it so please if you want to see more of these ridiculously cheap hobby boxes um, I have a whole playlist. Go check out some of the previous rips I have. And give this video a like, comment. Make sure you hit the sub button so that the channel is helped there. Uh, big print line right there at the gate on Coloco, right? You can see to the left of his head. Not ideal. We're going to just get him off the screen so that you don't even have to deal with that. Uh, Dyson Daniels. Now, when they didn't go to college... Um, it doesn't have anything underneath, and there's just this white jersey, so that, oh, saw the first one, um, is a bummer, and this is actually going to be one of our um, numbered autos, so you're going to get a lot that aren't numbered to pull that one, 192, 199, of a name that is not relevant, unless it's Flag Day and you're celebrating, then you got Savion to just get stoked on. Um, that's not great, but we continue and we push on, right, maybe? there's a bad numbered auto that means there's a short short print on it so you got to take the good with the bad with this uh hey there we go <laughs> that is the good it's a team color match for college steph curry doesn't look like there's any damage on the card centering not the worst the panini's put out there folks and then that one's number 299 so it is high um but that's a good stuff to start off right there. Now, here's an interesting part. For the guys that were in college in 2022, they've pulled a little bit of the Donruss culture and not just rated rookie, nailed it, it, but rated prospect. So Jordan Walsh, now they can't put, um, interesting. I don't know, maybe he wasn't in college um, or maybe they can't put him in if he's still in college. They can't get his name obviously they have davidson like the ability to put that for staff but i don't know if that's with the pa stuff hey cool uh fireworks shane sharp now is a rookie card this is his class but this particular insert doesn't get that rc logo hey wolf zone pc right there and then clay steph and clay i mean you got the right guy in color so let's put a soft sleeve on Steph and on Savion Flag. So, ton of stuff in it, right? It's like coming at you fast. Now, Dyson Daniels um, actually has a chance in New Orleans to be something, right? He's kind of, I would say, the bottom of the relevant tier. 
So you got Jaden Ivey, you got Paolo, you got Chet, you got Jabari, all those guys, the high lotteries. Um, we'll put Sadie on as well. I would put him right on the last person to like say, oh, it's cool. But his card in prism with no name on it, just not ideal. Shane Sharp is also on that top tier. Um, and I don't know who's going to be the top dog out of it all, right? That's what's so cool about it. So let's get this a little more organized. So many things. We'll put some sauce there. Um, here's just pure base. Here's all the rookies that we've pulled. And then this is, this is top shelf right there. We'll put the rest of the new cards there. First pack, subpar, but something. You know, that stuff is pulling its weight. Show is that. No, it's instant impact. <laughs> instant impact always gets you. I'm hoping it'll be something. Oh, Mark Williams, not bad. Um, James Harden. <laughs> I love the t-shirts that Harden wore in college. An AV Silver. That's going to go in just... Uh, He's so young. Just look at that. Okay, I'm really not doing a great job of teasing the autos out. So, Tony from Arkansas. Not numbered on that one. Hey, CP in the back. Um, that is a hyper right there. It's like a 7th grade boy after chugging three mellow yellows. So, again, the autos aren't what you're looking for. No one's looking for a Tony... That isn't an Arkansas PC guy. Um, but you can still get some sauce, right? Chris Paul, that centering still still up up down is not good, but we've all seen worse. And there's not as terrible of bend on the product as well. CP is gonna go right there. Terry doesn't get the soft sleeve on the hyper right there. So this is one of those variations I was talking about. Max Christie. Um, and you'll see that big V that doesn't exist on the vertical cards. If you get somebody of note, that does have a little bit of value. Bow Camp, that is very underwhelming as a card. Very underwhelming. Minot, Josh Minot, Minnesota Timberwolf. And Paolo, okay, first Paolo. Um, hope you get two. Uh, I love the yellow, like, Big Bird costume in the back there. That's awesome. So... Cool to get a Paolo base. Now, it is his Kyle Genie, so for a lot of people, not anything of note. Um, that card, even worse, excuse me, that pack, even worse than the first. But what's great about this product, too, if you're at a hobby shop and you want to buy a pack, you're guaranteed an auto. Um, it's like a guaranteed auto and a blaster right there, and the chance to pull so much more. You saw one of those names if you looked close enough. Um minnesota's own on it so trey i actually love that bill russell card <laughs> the basketball is coming at you it's like right there fun to watch okay let's see if i can hey, shack silver the 100 card base set is really helpful in this right boise state now this has been the auto spot um it looks like it will be <laughs> kai gab -ba kai gab i'm telling you y'all the the Auto checklist is just brutal. Um, maybe we'll get one that matters. We'll put, I've been just reviewing everything out of that filler pack right there to, to block. I think that's a big reason why this price point of the of the box has gone down. Jabari on the hyper. Um, that's a good one. We'll put that down there, sleeve it in a second. David Roddy. Now he's a Minnesota guy too, and he had a a little bit of a kind of coming out party for a lot of people when Memphis won its first round. Um, he was on the Mismatch podcast with Kevin O'Connor and Chris Vernon. So that is a, a Sochan. Um, the, the horizontal, the base variation is nice. And then a widescreen Chet Holmgren. So uh, not sought after insert, not a rookie card logo on it but still a chat kendall brown so my spidey sense is saying the best card of this has actually been the steph numbered 
which is disappointing if that's what we walk away with fully. But the Roddy, I didn't even show what the Roddy was out of. 249. So we haven't gotten a low, low number. And again, hyper are not um, numbered. We haven't gotten a low one. We haven't gotten an auto that snapped. But folks, there is one more pack. There is a hope. And what's nice about this is in a lot of ways, you can kind of piecemeal your way out of it. Even though there might not be a huge price point for each card, there's so many in here that have the ability to be resold with value of some degree. You know, it's like Jabari. Centering's actually pretty good on that. I don't see any. Uh, maybe we'll have to look a little bit if there's a dimple or two. My shack? My shack's over, right? It's like, that's got some interest. The 100 card base set gives you a big variety on that where the people you pull that are numbered, you're not getting just scorched on it. Um, let's hope. I really, 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 really want a SSP. And that's a firework. They get you. Kawhi. <laughs> Seriously, Kawhi. Uh, another David Roddy. Here is a silver of Ryan Roll Rollins. Nailed it. Pat Simmons, a little bad. The top is short. You see Diabate. And hey, at least he's a name I know, right? I mean, Big Ten basketball. That is the hyper. Not going to be numbered. Um, the best auto we got, for sure. I mean, just Power 5 conference right there. Tomorrow on the hype. Uh, rookie card, Patrick Baldwin Jr. I mean, not the worst name to get on it, but ultimately, if this one right here isn't saucy, a variation. I can't tell who that is off the gate. Mouth at Brahman. It's like the name almost of the cornerback the Vikings drafted out of USC. Um, he went Ohio State. Fireworks on the Durant. Nice, cool one. Um, shoot, Daniel. I will actually say I've watched a decent amount of rips on this. Um, that was a very subpar box. To walk away just with the numbered staff is a, is a tough hang on it. But you have to be aware that that's an option when you, when you pull this stuff right. The piles are just gone at this point. Let's just make sure we sleeve up relevant stuff. I'll put Patrick Baldwin Jr. I mean, he's on the Warriors. It's a hyper. No SSPs on any of this, but, you know, two-point DeMar on a hyper. So here's all the stuff that I would say, in the words of Seinfeld, is sleeve-worthy. DeMar, Patrick Baldwin Jr. hyper, uh, the Abate, sensational signature. Is it sensational? It's like two limbs giving each other a high-five. The Shaq Silver... Jabari Smith Hyper. That's maybe the second best card out of this whole thing. Roddy, if you find the right Memphis fan, out of 249. Actually, might be the third best card. Um, Sochan on the variation. Chat on a widescreen. Abu. Paolo is Paolo. No, you can't put Paolo. Base is the fourth best. Chris Paul Hyper. Tony, Sig, um, Shin Sharp, Savion, Tyson. I mean, honestly, that's what's tough about this rip was there's only really three. If, if I had the thrones in the back like I used to on Joel Sports Cards, the fourth, I don't know what you would argue it as. Put in the comments what you think the fourth best card is. Just super engaging con content. I mean, personally, the chat's up there. I mean, probably the auto of... Yeah, I mean, especially since you don't have any auto. It's got to be right there. Big 10. So, thank you all for watching. Please keep liking and commenting and subbing this channel if you haven't already. So that I can continue to put out videos like this. And once I hit 750, I'm going to give away 750 cards. 250 basketball, 250 baseball, 250 football to a sub. For free, mail to anybody in the United States, uh, Continental 48. So until next time, y'all, keep looking for value where you get a low 
entry point in terms of cost because when you have the chance to pull not only four autos but three potential SSPs as shown right here, um, it's worth it, right? And there's six non-base cards in every pack. It's pretty good. All right, folks. Until next time, keep ripping. Peace.